Hey, what's up you guys? Tim Kimball here from Bellevue, Washington. I'm a recruiter with the Future Force Tech team and I'm joined by one of our former interns, Jonathan, who's currently working for our Marketing Cloud Data and Privacy team. Jonathan, you wanna give us a quick intro of yourself? Sure, so hi, I'm Jonathan. I graduated from Georgia Tech in May of 2019 and I started here in July of 2019. I was a previous intern last summer in 2018 in Indianapolis. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the Marketing Cloud Data and Privacy team works on here? So we make sure that people who want access to their data have access, but also people who uh, aren't, aren't allowed to have that access don't get that access. So we make sure that you know if you give us like your name, phone number, and whatever, no one else can see it except for you and the company that's using it. Excellent. And as a former intern of ours, what have you felt have been the most transferable skill sets or even learnings from curriculum or previous internships that really set you up for success for your internship here at Salesforce? Uh, a lot of the soft skills, honestly. Uh, so, you know, talking to people, being able to ask a lot of questions, uh, you know, working at Salesforce and starting as a new grad, there's a lot of information to take in. So being able to ask questions, learn really quickly, being unafraid to you know, kind of look dumb, is, those are all great things because it helps you learn and onboard way faster. So Jonathan, as you can imagine, we've got a lot of external candidates and applicants who are really like chomping at the bit to get an opportunity to interview at Salesforce. I'm curious, what do you think it was about your candidacy that really distinguished you and got you an opportunity just to interview as an intern candidate? Uh, so my situation was kind of unique. I was a student volunteer at Career Fair and I had worked with Salesforce as they were there. So, you know, getting to know the recruiters as people, not just kind of being like, Here's my resume, this is what I want, I need a job from you, this is all that there is. I think seeing that there's more than that, honestly, is what put me ahead of everyone else. Excellent. And then to piggyback on that question, should a candidate be lucky enough to be tasked with an interview with Salesforce, what's the best advice that you can give them in order to prepare for that interview? So I had two interviews. Uh, I had one technical interview and one uh, personal interview uh, with my hiring manager. The technical interview was at the, was at the career fair, um, so I was given a problem to solve on the whiteboard. I think it was actually, I was given three problems to solve on the whiteboard. Um, and those are just kind of your typical computer science questions. So I was allowed to write in pseudocode, so I didn't have to write any specific languages. It was more about the high level structure and logic behind the code. So um, honestly, any interview prep that you've done for previous companies is applicable here. You know, everyone's kind of held to the same standard across the tech industry. Um, and then the personal interview, you know, that's obviously more about what you have with uh, you know, your own personal background, your own personal skill set, and whether or not you're a good fit with the team. So, you know, just be yourself because if you're not, then you, know, you don't want to be fake their whole internship. Excellent. Hey, Jonathan, we're so thrilled to have you here on a full time capacity. It's been really nice chatting with you. Really appreciate the insights. Thank you so much.